Hello, and welcome back to my Fire Emblem 8 0% Growths Reverse Recruitment LTC. I'm Ospe, and today we're going to be looking at chapters 4 and 5. So something notable about chapter 4 is it is the first chapter in which we get access to the prep screen before actually starting the map. So, you know, instead of just immediately being thrust into the map without having any control over, you know, who we deploy and where we get to, you know, deploy them, we get to, you know, pick who we want to use, manage our inventories, get the items and weapons that we need, and then pick where we want everyone to start. And this is particularly important for this map because it is the second route map of the run. And in route maps, it's typically seen as, as the more challenging type of uh, chapter when it comes to LTCing, since, you know, instead of just getting your strong combat unit potentially with the Lord over to the throne to seize or just to kill the boss, we have to deal with killing every single enemy that's spread out throughout the map. Um, and this is no different. It is also the first map with monster type enemies. Uh, something you'll notice about monsters in general is that the, the mantra tends to be quantity over quality, so a lot of these monsters have pretty poor stats, and even, as you'll soon see, our, our new recruit, Dazla, who's the archer replacement. Uh, even though he has pretty poor combat stats, he's pretty low speed, uh, like, okay strength, and, you know, a good amount of health, but, you know, even he is able to one round or even one shot a lot of these enemies. So the general strategy for this map is going to be getting Cyrene to put in a lot of the enemy phase work. Uh, even though Dazla, I just said, was able to one round a lot of the enemies, the Bone Walkers that are going to spawn in on turn two, he is, you know, incapable of, of handling in one round. So we're going to be clearing out the lower left part of the map with Cyrene and then getting her over to the right side to finish off the rest of the enemies on turn two. Uh, you'll also notice that the Revenants spawned. I triggered the reinforcements that spawned up in the top left, uh, and this. Might, you might think this would be an issue since, you know, it's four more enemies we have to kill, but since Cyrene is more than capable of clearing out a majority of the map, you know, all by herself, uh, we're able to dedicate Saleh to just finish them all off. Uh, the only, I guess, tricky part of killing those reinforcements is that one of the Revenants has the wacky AI that we see maybe once or twice throughout the game where they can either move or attack, and not both at once, so we just manually had Saleh kill him, and then the rest of the Revenants will, you know, suicide onto Saleh uh, in the next enemy phase. Um, but yeah, the common theme with a lot of these monster route maps is generally long enemy phases of our, you know, somewhat competent combat units kind of just one-rounding a bunch of monsters. This is also going to be a very prevalent theme in the uh, ghost ship once we get there. I guess it's a good time to talk about the other unit we get on this map, the loot replacement. We don't actually have to visit the village, we just need to finish the chapter and we'll get her automatically. Uh, but the loot replacement is uh, Lara Chell, the healer. She's actually our first and only healer for a significant portion of the early to mid game. Uh, and... We don't really need healing that much, but we'll be trying to use her as much as possible since uh, we will want another staff user for, you know, warp rescue shenanigans uh, into the late game, so we'll be focusing on training up her staff rank. Uh, but yeah, that was chapter four in two turns. On to chapter five. So chapter five is actually the second chapter in which we save a turn over vanilla 0% growths. It's a kill boss map, so the turn save mainly comes from being able to dance our boss killer Cyrene and get her to the boss a turn early. Uh, the Joshua replacement is Cormag, who's a 7 move flyer, and this means that we can immediately aggro him on turn 1, and then easily recruit him with our Natasha replacement, Dusel, on turn 2. Uh, Dusel is a shadow of the... <laughs> of the monster that he is in, you know, vanilla 0% growths, since he gets leveled down to a level 1 cav, uh, but he's still going to be able to do, you know, rescue drop Kanto shenanigans, so his utility is still pretty helpful. We also have some side objectives this map. The 
main ones being visiting the lower three villages. You just saw Cyrene visit uh, the far right village that uh, gave us the Armor Slayer, which we can immediately use to kill the Armor Knight boss on the next turn. The other two villages have stat boosters. I won't go into too much detail about you know who they're going to get used on and how they're going to be helpful yet, uh, but they just make clears uh, future chapters a lot more reliable. Uh, the Dragon Shield in particular makes enemy phases uh, a lot safer and reliable. We're also going to be trying to get XP onto the units we'll be trying to promote soon. Um, Innis, Saleh, who I thought I needed to promote at the time, uh, and then Cormag. We're actually going to do a neat little uh, trade chain with Dusel, La Rochelle, and Cormag. And that's going to get him a javelin, so he can immediately go and kill that soldier. Uh, and then we're also going to do a nice little strat where we, you know, rescue La Rochelle and then dance Cormag, so you can go grab the secret book, uh, which was just a nice little strat that I, I thought was interesting. Um, but yeah, Cormag's going to be pretty good. He's not as good as vanilla zero percent Cormag since we get him earlier and he's at a slightly lower level, so his stats aren't quite as good. But he's still going to be pretty damn good uh, come late game once he gets his promotion. Um, but yeah, here comes the little rescue strat. So we rescue uh, Lara Shell with Red Ack, and then that lets us dance on the newly freed tile with Tethys. And then we have just enough movement to grab the secret book. And with all of our side objectives done, we can go kill the boss. Um, but yeah, that is chapter five in two turns. I will uh, see you guys next time. Peace.